Yo, it's your boy Mo from TripleUT.com and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about carbs and testosterone, all right? More specifically, we're gonna be talking about the truth about low carb diets and how they affect your testosterone. We look at uh, some studies that go over the effects that carbs have on testosterone. And finally, we go into how to fit the right types of carbs in your diet. Now, I just wanna preface by addressing the ketogenic diet, all right? Now, the ketogenic diet is a very low to no carb diet and the thing is that ketogenic diet is very different from a low carb diet all right because if you're on a low carb diet you're not going to be in ketosis now ketosis is something i've done a lot of research about i haven't experienced it myself so at this point i'm not going to be commenting on how it can affect your testosterone levels because i haven't experimented with it but i will definitely in the future all right based on what i've read and stuff like that so if you are on the ketogenic diet then this video does not apply to you but if you think that low carb diets are a good idea then keep watching so what's the problem with low carb diets well let's first talk about why they've gained so much popularity all right so a lot of guys women as well go on low carb diets and uh, basically eliminate carbs increase their protein and then keep their moderate fats in their diet all right and then as soon as they remove uh, carbs they get on the scale every single morning and they see the number dropping and they're like shit i'm losing all this weight low carb diets are the answer and uh, i'm never gonna turn back but the truth of the matter is that weight loss is not the same as fat loss, all right? So the thing with carbs is that they're called carbohydrates, all right? Hydrates, keyword being hydrates, and that's because they retain water, all right? So when someone goes on a low carb diet, they're not eating carbs, in essence, they're not retaining as much water anymore, all right? So they see the numbers dropping on the scale, but the truth of the matter is that they're not actually losing fat, they're just losing water. All right, and because they're losing all that water, they equate weight loss being the same as fat loss, but the truth is that actually it's just doing their body more harm than good. And the reason for this is because how carbs affect testosterone, which we'll just talk about next. So in a study published in the European Journal of Applied Physiology, subjects were split into two groups, all right? Subjects in group one got 30% of their daily calories from carbs, and subjects in group two got 60% of their daily calories from carbs. Furthermore, subjects were also assessed for their free testosterone to cortisol ratio before and after three days of consecutive intense training. So what did the researchers find? Well, the subjects that were getting 30% of their daily calories from carbs experienced a 43% drop in their free testosterone to cortisol ratio, all right? So on day one, when they didn't go through the intense days of exercise, their testosterone, free testosterone to cortisol ratio was 43% higher, all right? Comparatively, in the group that was getting 60% of their daily calories from carbs, their free testosterone to cortisol ratio remained relatively unchanged. And the reason for this is because carbs are actually your body's preferred source of energy, all right? And when you're not eating enough carbs, and especially is the case with this study, they were not eating enough carbs during intense exercise. So obviously intense exercise calls for intense call for resources. And if you're not eating enough carbs when you're doing intense exercise, then that's only gonna uh, propel your body to produce more cortisol. And cortisol, as you know, is a stress hormone and it runs anticillary I don't know why I just said intisillary. I don't even know what it means, but I think it means opposing to testosterone, all right? So higher cortisol equals lower testosterone. Low carbs equal low energy, and if you're doing heavy workouts, then your body has no choice but to produce cortisol to help fuel those workouts. So another thing about carbs is how they affect a hormone called gonadotropin releasing hormone, AKA GNRH. And GNRH is basically a precursor to LH and FSH, which are the precursors to testosterone, all right? So the amount of GNRH is actually regulated by your blood glucose levels to some extent. So if you're not, if, if the amount of uh, glucose in your blood, in your brain, in your muscles, is above a certain point then that encourages your hypothalamus to increase GnRH production but if the blood glucose levels fall below a certain point then obviously GnRH takes a hit as well lower GnRH means lower LH and FSH which in turn lead to lower testosterone as 
well. So yeah, man, low carb diets are not doing you any good, all right? Unless you're in a ketogenic diet, in which case I do not know what the situation is. But if you are not on a ketogenic diet, then you want to stay away from low carbs because they are killing your testosterone, all right? And I'm going to go over some more studies to emphasize this point and drive it home. All right, so in a study published in the Journal of Exercise Physiology, subjects were 48 hours before exercise, they were put on a, either a low carb, high protein diet or a high protein, low carb diet. And the primary markers that were looked at in this study was whole body protein metabolism and strength recovery and muscle damage, all right? And at the end, uh, so after they completed the workout, subjects took these measurements and found that the people on the high carb, low protein diet had significantly more strength recovery, had significantly less muscle damage, and they had higher muscle protein metabolism, which means that the muscles actually uptake, uptook more protein than was broken down through the exercise, all right? In contrast, the, uh, the subjects that were on a low carb, high protein diet actually had more muscle damage, less strength recovery, and less muscle protein metabolism, despite the fact that they were eating more protein, all right? So another reason for you to eat carbs. And finally, in this last study, subjects were brought into a lab and put on an exercise stationary bike, right? Stationary exercise bike, on which they were uh, basically put on to the point where their glycogen stores were depleted. So they were on the exercise bike until their blood stores and brain stores, overall their body stores of glycogen was completely depleted, all right? And after this point, they were switched over to either low carb or a high carb diet. And then, two days later, they were put on to a strenuous leg workout, all right? And once again, the researchers found the same results as the study I talked about earlier, which was that the subjects on a high-carb diet actually had a faster muscle protein metabolism, which means that more protein was uptook by the muscles than was broken down through the exercise, all right? So... In conclusion, carbs not only help your testosterone, not only help your energy levels, but they also reduce muscle protein breakdown, which can come from exercise, all right? So if you're working out and if you're lean, then eating carbs can be especially important for you to fuel your workouts and that it reduces the muscle damage as well. So yeah, man, the research is abundantly clear on the fact that carbs are an essential component of a testosterone optimization diet and you should not neglect them and don't fall for the hype and don't fall for the numbers on the scale, all right? You go low carb diet, you see all these uh, pounds being dropped, but you fail to realize that it's only water, all right? So stick to your carbs. And now we'll talk about the different types of carbs that you should have in your diet. So there are two types of carbs, all right? And each of them vary in terms of how they affect your body. The first type of carb is a simple carbohydrate and these include stuff like candy, soda, white bread. And the thing with simple carbs is that they spike your blood sugar way high, all right? And a spike in blood sugar leads to an increase in insulin response and an increase in insulin response is not only bad for your overall functioning of your body because it leads to fat storage and all these other things and can even lead to type 2 diabetes, but an increase in insulin also leads to a drop in testosterone, all right? So unless it's around workouts, you should generally avoid simple carbs. And the second type of carb is complex carbs, all right? And these include stuff like beans, starchy vegetables, and whole grain oatmeal. And the reason that they are considered complex carbs is because they contain fiber and fiber actually takes a lot to be broken down by your body and it takes time for it to actually enter into the bloodstream, all right? And they don't affect your insulin levels to the same extent, I mean way less extent than do simple carbs, all right? And regulation of your insulin is the key to staying lean and staying regulated energy levels as well. So generally, you should have more complex carbs in your diet and less simple carbs, but as we talked about earlier, it depends on context, all right? So unless it's around workout, when it's around workouts, you should have simple carbs. And when it's not around workouts, you should stick to complex carbohydrates, all right? So yes, there you have it. 
don't fall for the dogma of low carb and all this stuff and of course as we went over before this does not include the ketogenic diet I'll shoot a video on that soon once I have some more experience with it and has some done some more research but generally speaking low carb diets are not the answer all right and if you're confused about how many carbs to eat and what type you should eat then I link out to a blog post below which goes over everything you need to know from the calculations to the food sources to everything all right and if you haven't subscribed already click the button below and I hope that this video has provided you with the information you were looking for this has been Mo Salim from TripleYourT.com I salute you and I'll see you soon.